The Justice Department faces yet another challenge. Yesterday, it responded to a lawsuit seeking a temporary restraining order against the Presidential Advisory Commission on Election Integrity's efforts to collect sensitive voter registration data from all 50 states. The Electronic Privacy Information Center, or EPIC, filed its lawsuit on Monday, charging that the commission's request for voter information was an invasion of privacy and that it did not have safeguards in place to protect sensitive voter information from being made public. The Justice Department told the judge the lawsuit would hurt their efforts to investigate voter fraud. They said, quote, the commission has begun to request information from the states to be provided on a voluntary basis. EPIC seeks to enjoin these first steps, which will prevent the commission from even beginning its work. They also noted that, that the Supreme Court has never recognized a constitutional right to, quote, information privacy, end quote. Meanwhile, the controversial vice chair of the commission, Chris Kobach, took issue with reports that 44 states have refused to give it the information it's requested, calling it fake news. Okay, now his was really funny, y'all. He is in Kansas. He is refusing to turn over information from his home state. And he's the one in charge of the data. And it's fake news. Okay, here's what he said. While there are news reports that 44 states have refused to provide voter information to the commission, these reports, reporters are patently false, more fake news. At present, only 14 states and the District of Columbia have refused the commission's request for publicly available voter information. Really? The district court judge has put the case on a fast track and could rule as early as today. We'll keep you posted. All right. <laughs> this is crazy. Joining us, Todd Cox, the Director of Policy for the NAACP Legal Defense and Education Fund. Also joining us, Ralph Chittles, Principal of Black Elephant Consultants, Julian Malvo, economist and President Emerita at Bennett College and host of It's Personal with Dr. J Podcast and Deborah L. Simpkins, author and entrepreneur. Okay, folks. Okay, this is hilarious. We literally have 45 states that have said we're not turning the information over. He is the Secretary of State in Kansas. He has said, I'm not turning it over. What the hell? How is it fake news when it, it actually happened? Ralph, they made your lion. What, what, what's, up with, what's up with Republicans? Well, it's not just Republicans who aren't complying with this request, but, but the issue is the information they're asking for is publicly available information. Not all of it. The, the problem that they're going to have, that the Trump administration is going to have, is they did not send a request to the Office of Management and Budgets, Office of information and regulatory affairs, which arguably is a violation of the Paperwork Reduction Act, which is going to be the procedural reason why these states are probably going to succeed in their attempts to not turn over the information. No, well, these so what we have here, again, is President Trump's administration not understanding process and policy and therefore these states are actually going to prevail in not having to turn over the information. But what you also have here, Julian, is you have folks who are trying to prove something that does not exist. Yesterday, a state official, a former state representative in Wisconsin, spent 30 years, uh, it was a story, uh, ProPublica gave an interview, he gave an interview with him. He said he challenged his own fellow Republicans in Wisconsin, give me three examples of voter fraud. They could not come up with one example. In fact, they did. They said they came up with two examples, and both of them were Republicans who voted illegally. And, you know, the studies that have been done about this voter fraud show that there is hardly any, less than one, a fraction of 1%. Oftentimes, somebody gets a ballot, they dead. They get a ballot, they don't use their ballot. So that's not voter fraud. That means that so no one filed a death notice. You have other examples of things like that. But it's beyond the voting records. They've asked for the people's social security number. Right. The last four digits of your social. That's private information. That could be used. We've seen so many instances of information being hacked that could be used to mess up your credit that could be used to mess up any number of other things and so both democratic and republican secretaries of state have said no we're not going to do it what do you make of this nonsense we think it's a uh, precursor to voter suppression and quite frankly we've seen it before 
we've seen it with Jeff Sessions before. We, we called it out during his nomination. Uh, what they do is they say, first of all, there's voter fraud when there isn't any. And they use a, a commission like this as an excuse to go after people. And the process of going after people itself can result in voter intimidation. And our clients, when Jeff Sessions prosecuted them under trumped up charges, decided they weren't going to vote again. And that kind of travesty is exactly what we don't need in this country right before the 2018 elections. DeBoer? Roland, I just see this as another indictment of a frivolous indictment on American citizens. I'm not going to classify any gender, but everything under this administration is just really uh, totally just out of whack. I'm just very, uh, dis it's very disparaging. It's just very, uh, just makes you feel like, what are we doing here? What's going on? What can we do? Well, hell, as Ralph said, they don't even know what they're doing. They can't even follow basic procedures, uh, which uh, is no shock. Three days on TV One. I will never lie to you. Oh, my God. Roland Martin. He doesn't want to talk to us. He wants to ignore us. Uncensored. Hell no. no. That ain't gonna cut it, boo. Unapologetic. No, no, that, that is fundamentally false. You are wrong. Unfiltered. He wants an America where we all look alike. He ain't talking about black people. Unrelenting. You better go work out because you got to fight on your hands. News One Now with Roland Martin, weekdays at 7 a.m. on TV One.